Madison and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you all today's tackle. I have a lot of goodies I've kind of been waiting to use to share with you all. Um, I guess one of these things I've already used, but either way. <laughs> you will see a common theme here. If you didn't already know my favorite color, it's pretty apparent in this video. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Everything will be linked down below if y'all are interested in checking any of these items out. There are potentially some caveats that I will explain as we get going. Um, but either way, without further ado, let's just get started. Alrighty, first things first, I have a top from Victoria Rose Equestrian. If you've never heard of Victoria Rose, Victoria Rose is a small business equine shop that makes um, clothing for equestrians. I love their stuff. I... I've been following them for a while now and it's been amazing to see their growth. Um, I found them on Instagram first. If you have not heard of them, I highly recommend you go check their clothing pieces out. They have a ton of tops and jackets, great for um, riders that are relatively affordable and amazing, amazing quality. I went ahead and picked up this top in the lilac color. Um, this is the high neck performance top. So it does have a higher neck as y'all can see. And then on the left shoulder, the logo is embroidered in black. I love this. I purchased this in a size small. Um, I'm not sure if I would recommend sizing up or not. It is relatively fitted um, and I do have a larger chest. I think my one, I don't want to say hang up, that sounds bad, but just because I have a larger chest, this is a cropped shirt and with a larger chest means the shirt kind of gets pulled up more than it would if you had a smaller chest, if you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, if you have a larger chest, maybe considering sizing up just because of that. I am somebody that tucks my shirts into pants every single time I ride with a belt. Um, now, I do not gravitate towards high-waisted riding pants or breeches just because I have such a short torso. And sometimes the high-waisted ones literally touch my bra because my torso is so short. So because of that, Again, I have a short torso, but I think just the larger chest in combination with the cropped top. Sometimes I felt like this top was getting pulled out of um, my waistband while I'm riding. Maybe just consider that when you're purchasing it, but otherwise, I love this. Um, it is so well made. The quality is amazing. This color is gorgeous. There are thumb holes. You have some nice, fun, little speckled detailing on the side there. As y'all can see overall this top is great I have a few photos of me in it on my Instagram if you're interested in checking those out but um, again they make long sleeves short sleeves and a ton of different styles as well as like logo placements um, and some jackets so I highly recommend you go check out Victoria Rose I love this uh, I guess this is a fun one we'll go on to this next um, this is actually something that I got for Christmas. Now, I was debating doing a Christmas tack haul, but I honestly didn't really get a ton of equestrian things. Um, my biggest gift this year was a luggage set, which I'm super excited about, but like, that's not like a ton to show. Or And also, I don't know if you even really care. But um, I was so excited. I asked for this and I got it. And that is a Pivo. Um, this is the Pivo Silver Edition, which I potentially may have used this by the time this video comes up. Um, but if you have not heard of Pivo, Pivo is a company that makes essentially these camera tracking following devices. Um, I have not used this. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know really how it works. But it comes in this little black and red case. Super well made. I'm not sure. There's this little remote here. I'm not sure if this is the start and the stop recording or what. But there's also like a little dial on it. Either way, the gist of this. I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. But the gist of this is that this little device here you can place on a tripod if you want. Or there's little grippy feet so you can just put it on the side of the arena. Or wherever you like. And you can twist your phone into here. 
Oh, you can see my viewfinder and my light. Um, but you can twist your phone into here and then as you're riding, this will just track you and follow you, which is super cool. Um, I was so excited about this. Again, I am not entirely sure how it works. I'm really hoping I can use this not just for riding, but get it to follow me while I'm filming at the barn. Um, so I could be in the tack room and it'll film me while I am walking around the tack room. I think this is mostly targeted at people wanting to watch themselves while they ride and just kind of like review the rides afterwards. But I think this could also be great, again, just for me filming on the ground stuff so that I'm not just like putting my camera on a tripod somewhere and it's static. So I'm super excited to see how this works. Um, there's a little charger with this. And then there's something else in this box. Oh, okay. Um, the smart mount. So it is, um, oh, interesting. Um, I think you can just move it around, um, hold your phone horizontally, vertically, sideways. Um, if you wanted to put your phone like face down and have it like twist. I don't entirely know how this whole thing works. I keep saying that, but I'm super excited to figure it out and I'm hoping I can actually find a way to either put this camera on or, oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. I'm hoping I can find a way to either put this camera on, which I have the Canon G7X that I primarily film with. Um, I also have the Canon um, T5i, but the thing's just kind of big. Um, or one of my GoPros on because sometimes I get worried about taking this to the barn and I just got a better GoPro. Um, but I'm hoping I can find a way to put that on there and get better quality footage um, at the barn without feeling like I'm going to damage this camera. Because when the viewfinder's up, I feel like if it fell, it would be toast like that. So very excited about this. Um, like I said, I purchased the silver edition of that and I'm not sure of all of the differences. You can check them out online, but the silver edition for sure spins faster than the traditional one. Um, so that way, you know, you're cantering on a smaller radius and needs to turn faster, whatever it is, it can track you better. So very excited about that. And thank you, mom and dad. I'm so excited to hopefully up my video game a little bit more while I'm riding. Like I said, you're gonna be able to tell my favorite color very quickly by this video. This maybe was not my smartest purchase of the year, but that's okay. So back in Black Friday, I found um, a company called Hippo Store. It's a Netherlands-based equestrian company. Um, they're having a crazy good sale. Now, if you're in America purchasing from Europe or somewhere out of the US, um, I don't wanna say it's kind of a pain, but like you just need to kind of be prepared going into it. Um, first off, their prices are a lot better than American prices, which is huge. However, oftentimes your credit card will make you pay a foreign transaction fee and um, your order also might get into customs. So um, I found these stirrups on Hippo Store. I was so excited for them, a little bit impulsive. I don't know how, I'm actually, how much I'm actually gonna use them, but whatever. They emailed me saying they were actually out of stock and I was hooked. I searched high and low to find these and eventually found them on Red Post Equestrian. Now, um, this as me did a video with Red Post Equestrian a while ago and she's amazing. I love that girl. Um, I love her stuff. So I was so excited to go ahead and support Red Post after that, especially just because, um, I don't know, love the girl. But either way, these are the Flexon stirrups. If you have seen any of my recent videos lately, or honestly any of them in like the last six years, you would probably know that I've been riding in very inappropriate stirrups. Um, I have just traditional Phillips, Phyllis stirrups. Um, they're a size four inch though, which is a kid size stirrup, which definitely is not the correct size for my foot. Um, I purchased them for $5 at a tax sale about five years ago, just because that was really all I could afford at the time. Um, and I've decided it's been time to upgrade my stirrup game. So these are the Flex On Safe On stirrups. Your jaw is about to drop, just, just. Stop it! Are these not amazing? These are so beautiful. Um, again, these may or may be a little bit impractical because I can't do a ton in them, given that they're lavender. Even if these are just cross country and show jumping or maybe just cross country, these are beautiful. 
Um, these are the Winter Edition Flex On Safe On Stirrups. Um, they're called Safe On because this outer branch here is totally made of rubber. <sighs> it's kind of hard. You can pull it off this little red nub. Um, so they're technically safety stirrups. You've got this super nice inclined bed, um, as you can see there with a ton of grips and treads with these little spikes here. A super wide footbed to hold your foot in place and then the shock absorbing little domes at the bottom here. I've never owned a pair of Flexon stirrups myself, but I've had, um, you know, I've ridden other people's tack that they do have them. These are amazing. I am so excited about these. Again, maybe slightly impulsive. I might go ahead and buy black ones and kind of debate if I want to keep these and potentially resell them. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that there's a potential caveat with um, you being able to buy these things or not, and that is because these were the limited edition winter stirrups. Um, a lot of their summer ones are still available for purchase, and their autumn ones, um, they do some seasonal ones. However, given that Hippo Store ran out of these, um, and I emailed them and they said that they would not be getting any more from Flexon. I'm not sure how quickly these are going to go because it seems like this color is a hot commodity, but I love lavender. I might do lavender on pee this summer, especially potentially with this shirt. We will see, but I'm super excited about these. Um, and I will let you all know how I like them. And then last but not least, this is an item that I purchased before I got my Victoria Rose Top, and that is this Lavender Cool Black shirt. I, yeah, we're not gonna talk about it. I don't know why I needed another lavender thing, but I saw the Victoria Rose one and I wanted to try it out, try out a small business. Just kind of give them my thoughts. Um, but I initially purchased this with the potential intent of wearing this on cross country. Um, it is a cool blast shirt, so you have these nice mesh vents underneath. Um, a nice little collar. This is pretty standard, pretty simple. I've talked about these multiple times on my channel before. Um, I purchased these in a size extra small. I want to say I have like four or five of them. These fit great. Again, this is a size extra small. The Victoria Rose top is a size small, and I feel like that one honestly fits snugger than this. Um, just every company fits a little bit differently, but um, I'm so excited about this. I feel like I wear these shirts almost every time I ride, um, and I don't know if it's the sun bleaching or also wearing a cross country vest on top of it where they get super sweaty. The darker colors fade a lot more quickly, I feel like. Um, so I have an older blue one that <laughs> has totally faded. So um, I was excited to get this. This was definitely on sale. These I think are normally $70 and I wanna say I got it for 35 on one of their like holiday New Year's Eve sales. So um, very excited about this and um, It'll look adorable on Miss P. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will be sure to have everything linked down below if you are interested in checking any of these items out. Um, as best as I can find um, the link for the lavender strips. Otherwise, I will just link the classic flexons. But um, I hope you are all doing so well and are enjoying the new year. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.